Hey guys, <laughs> how are we doing today? Uh, basically, I just wanted to do a quick little mix breakdown of the new Behold Here's Poison song called Walking on Tracks. Um, first of all, it's out on all streaming services. Uh, go check it out. Um, yeah, Behold Here's Poison are just great upcoming band. <laughs> Mixing. Mastering. Drum tracks. Remote production. If you are in need of any of these services, head on over to castyrobinson.com slash services and let's get in touch. All right, back to the video. Uh, I'm also a little bit, I don't know, congested or, or, or something. I know it's allergies, so if I sound weird, then it's your fault. Um, yeah, so let's just get, a, get right into it. Uh, we're we're going to start off with drums. All right, so I actually have these in two different programs it might be a little laggy when I switch over to Reaper but um, I'm just gonna quickly show you the drum MIDI for for the drum track um, yeah so it's just uh, it's just moderately humanized and you know we got some ghost notes in here sorry let me uh, let me mute the guitars real quick Uh, yeah, it's nothing really special about the about the MIDI, but it's it, you know it's there. Um, and the uh, the kit that I'm using on this is actually the Get Good Drums P5 Matt Halpern Signature Drum Library, perfect library. It's my favorite drum library to use out of everything on the market. And quickly, I'll just go over the guitars. I really don't have anything special on here. These are just the hold, let me uh. These are just the DIs, so. No, nothing really special. Um, and then I have the amp on here. Um, I am using the Amp Roots uh, ML Sound Lab amp with the Gent Kid preset for both of them. And then I'm EQing them back in um, Band Lab. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what's going on on the um, in the logistics. These are this is where we're going to get to all the effects and stuff. So let's start off with bass. Uh, the bass is you know it's right there. So I know it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't really sound like an actual bass tone. Um, it's this is kind of a preset that I've designed that sounds like in the mix it sounds like there's a bass, but then when you play it when you play it by itself it's just distorted subs sort of. And I found this really nice balance um that if I play with the drums let me show you. See it's it sounds like an actual bass, but there, there are, there's also a lot of really crucial sub information there. Uh, it's really nice. I've so basically a rundown. I've got a noise gate on it. I've got some overdrive. I've got a um, amp model. I got some EQ going, and I have a compressor on it. So really basic presets, but <laughs> no pun intended. But ba basic, you should unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Uh, and then moving on to leads, uh, the the lead file that that um, that Tanner got to me was already had some effects on it, I believe, and I think I just yeah I just had an EQ on it. So without the EQ, it's it just sounds like this. And then with the EQ, it's. Wanted to make it sound a little bit more lo-fi, but that's really all that's going on in terms of uh, leads. There's not not anything. What is this part? Oh, it's it's yeah okay. It's just the pre-chorus thing. Um, and there's also this actually. There's also a gunshot sound effect for the breakdown that I um, that Tanner gave to me. And then in mix contest in ma in mix context, it sounds like this. Yeah, so it's yeah, and I have it panned like very slightly to the right, 
just to you know get it out of the way of the kick drum and you can tell that there's something there. Um, all right, uh, moving on to guitar. The I think I just have some EQ. I don't think I've compressed them. Yeah, it's just it's just some just taking out some of the low end information that the bass is gonna uh, pull up. So. <coughs> So that's that's the um, that's the guitar stuff. Uh, not anything really in, not really special with the drum with the guitars. The drums, I believe that I did have some compression. Oh no, okay, I, d I didn't use any compression on there. That's surprising. <laughs> um, this is the drum track. I have I have an EQ on there. So without the EQ, straight out of the DI with some uh, processing on it, it goes. And with the EQ. So w basically with the uh, drum EQs, I just want to clear up some of the cymbal frequencies, some of the higher frequencies, and then emphasize the lower end. And it really goes very nicely with the bass, as I showed before. It's so nice. And then the guitar's on top of that. It's very boomy. It's very nice. And again, the mastering does take some, some out of that. Uh, then we got some nice bass drops. You know, for the for those for those hits. Where's the breakdown? Where's the breakdown? Where's the breakdown? There it is. This is a big thick one. I love bass drops so much. Um, I do have so, uh, I have I do have a repertoire of of impact uh, sounds that I do use though. Uh, for this track, there's some cool little phaser stuff that's happening actually. I think right before the breakdown, there's some phaser happening on the guitar. Yeah, right there. Um, yeah, so it's... Kind of giving an underwater feel. And right here also. Yeah, and I, I think I've got some reverb on here too. Yeah, so I've got a phaser, some EQ, of course, and oh, yeah, so just just wah, oh, there's the reverb, yeah. So yeah, so we got a cool little effect that I got going on, and I think also did I do something for this? Oh, that that was also another phaser. Oh, it's just wah, and yeah, so that's just some some effects tracks for this part of the breakdown, and then that goes right back in. Um, and I believe that is also the same for the ambience. Yeah, there's some cool little ambient stuff happening in here. So, it really sounds cool. And then in the mix context, um, I'll add the bass drop in there because why not? See, it's not it's not at a volume where it's loud by any means it's just something that's something to fill in the space between the uh, instead of just having it just with symbols with those guitar and bass pauses it's just nice it just fills in the space um and i've also got some on the bass track act as a matter of fact the same like i just copy and pasted the same ambience for the last part which is kind of like this creepy stuff um there's the bass and then it just goes into it's it's such a cool I think I, I actually, I think I actually moved this here by accident, and I liked how it sounded so much that I just added that in. Um, and yeah, I've got some, I've got some piano on here too for the for the chorus. Yeah. And for the second half of the chorus, it's an octave up as well. Uh, I think I have a bit crusher on that too. Uh, yeah, this is this is the last part where the piano like really comes through. Yeah, so I have an EQ. I have some reverb. I have oh, I have chorus on this too. Didn't even notice that. Um, obviously, compressor, compressor, and a bit crusher. Yeah, I think I automate the end of the bit crusher though at the end here. Yeah, yeah. Really cool stuff. Um, I the um, 
all the post production stuff um, that I added, those are just ideas that I had that I thought would sound cool, and they did. <laughs> uh, snare bombs. I do have a snare bomb track. I love snare bombs. They make everything so much heavier, and they have nice transitions, as like right here in the chorus, I think. <laughs> Or, or, I mean, in the breakdown, same thing. Here. I think it's a really nice, I think it's a really nice thing to transition into the chorus here, because without it, it just sounds empty. It just sounds too dry, and that adds that nice little reverb. So. Yeah, and I think for the breakdown, I also have some stuff for the snare bombs as well. Yeah. Let me mute Devin real quick. Yeah. So that was cool. Uh, I also have this little, <laughs> I have this little sample loop that I found. Just, <laughs> I don't know why I added that in, but it's just like random crowd noises that I thought sounded cool in the context of the breakdown. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, let's move on to vocals. So for vocals, I actually, um, I have these effects on here. This is, I I think Tanner has some, has some of his own effects on the vocals as well, though, because they all looked fairly compressed when they when he sent me the file. So. So it's 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 definitely a lot very compressed, but uh, there's nothing else going on there as far as I know. I haven't really asked him about that. Um, but this is how the vocals sound with my effects. Uh, I love this song. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just got some. I just got a little bit more compression on there. A de-esser, EQ, reverb, delay, and some gain to make up for the uh, delay stuff. And they, yeah, they sound great in the context of the mix. I also have. I think I have this one um, effects track here. Yeah, or was it here? Oh yeah, it was. I think this was the distorted track. Um, for just for the breakdown, yeah. Just have one distortion plug in on it. Yeah. Um, and for the uh, effects at the end, at the end there's some like creepy whispering <laughs> that Devin did and Tanner had some delay and reverb on that already. So I just added that to the distorted track as the, the ambience was already distorted on the bass track. Um, as we mentioned earlier and you know, it just goes with that. No idea what he's saying. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we got this. We then we got this sick yeehaw in the breakdown. <laughs> Bro, it's so disgusting. It's so good. Uh, and then I have this one. I think uh, effects track. Oh no. Oh yeah. Uh, for the, just for a layer, I think. Yeah, just a adding a little bit more of stereo width. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, choppy cuts in here, but that's all, that's all fixed later when I fade everything in out, when I faded everything in and out. Um, I don't know why that didn't save, but, uh. Yeah, so I think that's everything. Yeah, that is everything. All right, well, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe, <laughs> uh, like. I'll probably do a couple more of these in, in the uh, in the future, as you know, Beholders Boys. And like, we got we got a new album we're working on. I'll, I might also do this for some Parabola songs. Might do this for some of my own stuff. But uh, yeah, that's that's all I got for you today.